Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Today we'll start Drusul Al Arbiya Al Juzus Sani, second volume. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. You already know that sentences are divided into two categories. First category is called Al Jumlatul Ismiya, which is in English it is called nominal sentence. Then second type is called Al Jumlatul Failia, which in Arabic, which in English is called verbal sentence. In English, we only have nominal sentences, we don't have verbal sentences. But in Arabic, we have both nominal and verbal sentence. A nominal sentence starts with a noun. Al Jumlatul Ismiya starts with the Ism. And Jumlatul Failia starts with the verb. Al Jumlatul Failia Tabdau Bi Failin. So Jumlatul Ismiya has two parts. First part is called Muptada and second part is called Khabar. Muptada in English is called subject and Khabar in English is called predicate. <coughs> so Jumlatul Ismiya has two parts. First part is called Muptada which means subject and second part is called Khabar which is called predicate. But in Jumla Failia, we also have two parts. First part is called fail, and second part is called mafool. And it depends on the sentence also. In this sentence, we don't have any mafool, so we'll study this type in detail, inshallah, later. So basically, we are going to study the two types of sentences here. Then we will learn about the particle inna what changes it make to the sentence and we will study these things here so miss rina start assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam okay in this lesson we learn the following number 1 in na in arabic there are two types of sentence sentences a the nominal sentence or al jumlatul ismiya where in the first word is a noun example al kitabu sahlun the book is easy the noun which commences the nominal sentence is called the muptada, al muptada u, while the second part is called the khabar, al khabar. B, the verbal sentence or al jumlatul filia, where in the first word is a verb, example. Haraja Bilalun. Bilal went out. The particle inna is used at the beginning of a nominal sentence. Example, Al Kitabu Sahlun. So this will become Inna in Al Kitaba Sahlun. Note that the noun after Inna is Mansub. After the introduction of inna, the muqtada is longer called muqtada, no but longer. is instead huh? no longer. Okay, no longer called muqtada, but is is instead called ismu inna, and the khabar is called kabaru inna. Okay. In us, Wait a minute. What are the two types of sentences? 
Aljumlatul Ismiya and Aljumlatul Fi'liya. Okay, what are the two parts of Aljumlatul Ismiya? Um, two parts? Yes. Anyone? Muqtada and Khabar. Muqtada and Khabar. Yes. The first part is called Muqtada and second part is called Khabar. What is Muqtada and what is Khabar in English? Muqtada is subject and Khabar is predicate. Okay. Now, after the addition of Inna, what happens? Muqtada becomes Mansub. Muqtada becomes Mansub. And also, the name of Muqtada is changed. Now it is called Ismuinna. So if I ask you, what is Muqtada in this sentence? Innal kitab sahlun. You will say, we don't have any Muqtada here. We have Ismuinna. Okay. So in the first sentence, Al kitab sahlun. Al kitab is Muqtada. And sahlun is khabar. But in this sentence, in al kitab sahalun, we don't have any muqtada, we don't have any khabar. <clears throat> so we'll say that kitab is ismu inna. Kitab is the ism of inna. And sahal is the khabaru inna, which means sahal is the khabar of inna. Okay? You need to okay. remember this thing. Next, we have Mr. Rizwana. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. From where should I start? Meaning of Inna. Inna signifies emphasis. It can be translated as indeed, surely, no doubt, and verily. Note the following. If the muqtada has one dhamma, it changes to one fata after inna. For example, al-mudarrisu jadidun changes to inna al-mudarrisa jadid. Jadidun. Aminatu talibatun changes to inna al-amina talibatun. Oh. Next, we have Miss Satya. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum, uh, The second point, na? Yes, if the Muqtada. Uh, if the Muqtada, if the Muqtada has two Dhammas, they change to two Fatas. Example, uh, Hamidun, Maridun, then it becomes Inna Hamidun, Maridun. Inna Hamidun, Maridun. Then if the, if the Muqtada is a pronoun, it changes to its corresponding one to form. Example, Anta Gani Yun. Then so you know, if you remember we studied this that Anna, Anta, Anti, Huwa, Hiya are Marfu, Ka, Ki, Ji, Na, all these are Mansub and Marfu form. Do you remember? So we will use the Mansub and Marfu. Majroor form with inna, not the marfu form. Next. Uh, for the manroor form, all the uh, forms of the. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for the manroor form of all the pronouns, see exercise 3 in the main book. Not that the pronouns of the first person, singular and plural, have. Two forms. The inna, 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 
இன்னனா இன்னா இன்னனி இன்னி சாத்யா வாட் ஹேப்பன் when we add inna to a jumla is mia ha what happens after the addition of word inna to a jumla is mia What is jumla ismiya? Do you know what is jumla ismiya? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, verbal, verbal form, na? Right? Jumla ismiya means nominal sentence, a sentence which starts with the noun. Okay. Okay. What then, are the two parts of jumla ismiya? Ah, uh, mukta, mukta da, and kabir. Okay, just hold. Subject okay. and predicate. so after the addition of inna mubtada becomes mansub we need to remember this thing and it is very important miss satya yes i will i will tell you marfu form of a pronoun and you will tell me what is its mansub and majrur form okay okay huwa Hua is marfu. What is its mansub and majrur form? Uh, uh, uh. Anyone? Who? Who? Its mansub and majrur form is who. Next we have hiya. Uh, ha. Ha. Next we have. anta anta iska ka anti ki ki ana ya ni sorry what ya ya in the end Okay, yeah. Nahnu. Na. 
Nah. Nah. You all need to remember this thing. So, this group is marfu, and this is mansub and majrur form. So, after the addition of inna, the mutada become mansub. So, you will use the mansub form of pronoun, not the marfu form. So, look here. Here, anta is marfu. After the addition of inna, we are using the mansub form, not the marfu form. Then we have a particle la 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 is the sisters of inna. This means all the rules of inna that you have studied before, like after the addition of inna, muqtada become mansub, and we always. Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. So now we will speak about La Allah. La Allah is the sister of Inna. This means, sister means all the rules of Inna will be applied on La Allah also. So rules of La Allah and rules of Inna are same because both are sisters. So after the addition of La Allah, <coughs> Muqtada become Mansub and we always use uh, Manso form of pronoun with la Allah. Same thing. So, Mr. Rahma. No. Your turn. No. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. La Allah is also a particle like Inna. It is called one of the sister of Inna. Grammatically, it act like inna. It is signified hope or it signifies fear. signifies hope or fear. Sample: Ali Jawu Jamil. The weather is fine. La Al Jawa Jamil. I hope the weather is fine. Alimodarisu married. The teacher is sick. Al Alimodarisa maridun. I am afraid the teacher is sick. In the lesson, we learn a sample of I hope only. Next we have Zoo. Zoo is always Muza. So next one will be Muzafile. Majuru. So, Miss Amin Abdi Hassan. Do this word means half in or possessing. Do malin possessing wealth. Wealth. Do holkin possessing manners. Well managed. Do it mean possessing knowledge? Plan. It is always mudaf and the flowing word is mudaf lai and therefore it is matrur. The feminine of do is the to. Example Bilalun do it mean wa uktuhu datun kul. Hulqin. Bilal is blind and his sister is well mannered. The part of do is the bulla. I mean, the bulla of do is the wa. Zawu. The wu. And that of the data is. Zatu. The wu. Is zagatu. The water too. Hada talikun da tu. Hada talikun du kolokun. Kolokin. Hadihi. Zafile is always plural. Okay, kolokin. Hadi talibatun duatun. Da tu. Da tu. Da tu. Tu. Haulai tulabun. 
Dawu Hulukin. Dawu Hulukin. Dawu Hulukin. Haulai Talibatun Dawatun Hulukin. Okay. Next we have the word um. So Miss Rizwana. Yes, sir. Um, it means or, but only in an interrogative sentence. For example, a tabibun anta am muhandisun. Are you a doctor or an engineer? A min firansa hua am min almania. Is he from France or Germany? A Bilalan Raaita Am Hamidan. Did you see Bilal or Hamid? Note that the particle A uh, proceeds one of the two things about which the question is asked, while Am proceeds the other. So mm -hmm. it is wrong to say as Abta Ila Makkata Am Jiddata A Anta Mudari Mudari Sun Am Talibun. The correct construction is A Mudari Sun Anta Am Talibun. A Ila Makkata Zahabta Am Ila Jiddata. So, what are they telling you here? Yes. I didn't understand much. Did anyone understand this point? Am, am, am means or. Hmm. So, whenever we use am in the question, this means we are uh, discussing two things. Okay. We are discussing two things. So he is telling you that one thing will be attached to the word um and the other thing will be attached to the question particle Hamza. Okay. For example, in your case, if I want to know that whether you are a doctor or whether you are a student. <coughs> so if I say a anti tabi batun um Talibatun, then this will be wrong because I am not attaching the word Tabiba with Hamza. I need to attach it with Hamza. So I will say A Tabibatun Anti Am Talibatun. Okay? Yeah. So whenever we use the word Am in, in the question, this means we are discussing two things. One thing must be at, uh, kept with um and other thing must be kept with the particle hamza. Okay. And in so the second one. Hmm. Azahab. Ta. That he, is wrong. Yes, he is telling you so it is wrong to say Azahab Taila Makkah. This sentence is wrong because we are discussing Makkah and Jadda. Jadda is kept with the um this is correct but makkah must be kept with hamza okay otherwise it will be wrong so in the next sentence he has corrected it by putting makkah with hamza okay uh, ila. Uh -huh. um, ila. continue ila. in a non interrogative sentence how is used <clears throat> for or? For example, Khuz haza au zaka. Take this or that. Raaitu sala satan au arbatu arbatan. I saw three or four. Kharaja Bilalun Aw Hamidun. Bilal or Hamid went out. What are they telling you here? 
if it is a non interrogative sentence there is no question so we use how for or and if it is a question then what will you use um um so meaning of um and how is same um is used in questions and how is used in non questions in simple sentences and negative sentences okay so for questioning the word um is used and for other sentences we use how meaning is same miss reena yes sir we are cutting hundred alfun thousand not that in me atun the alif is not pronounced is it is pronounced me atun in certain countries it is also written like this without the alif after this two number the madu is singular majrur example mi atu kitabin 100 books alfu riyalin 1000 riyal haza hazati hazatil faju bi alfi riyalin here alfi is majrur because of the proposition b mi atun and alfun have the same form with the feminine what madud also example alfu muslimatin wa mi atu talibat tin do you understand mm -hmm. anything um Do you in the rules of counting you have learned that with one and two the relationship between other than madhu is not and madhu not and and from three to ten the relationship between other than madhu is what anyone can tell me from mudaf mudaf ilay yes mudaf and mudaf ilayhi okay. Then from eleven to ninety-nine, Madud is anyone can tell me. Mufrad Mansoor. From eleven to ninety-nine, Madud is Mufrad Mansoor. Listen again. With one and two, the other than Madud are Mudaf Mudafile. Oh sorry, not and Manud. So from three to ten, it is muzafle. So it will be majrur. From eleven to ninety-nine, madud is mufrad mansub, singular mansub. And then hundred and thousand, madud is singular majrur. From eleven to ninety-nine, singular mansub. And for hundred and thousand, it is singular majrur. So slowly, slowly, you need to memorize all these things. <clears throat> all time, we'll stop here, and after the break, inshallah, we'll continue from here. If anyone has any questions, you can ask me. So hundred and thousand is also mudaf mudafile. Mm, you can call it mudaf mudafile, but it is not exactly mudaf mudafile. But you can call it. Yeah, it looks like. Yes. Anyone? Ma salama. Ma salama.